enjoyed your holidays and you got all fat from all the food. Yep. <laughs> this is our first video from for the new year. Right. Actually, yeah. So we decided to bring you guys a video about our 2015 favorites. Yes. So we can go into the new year and just start fresh. <laughs> and buy more makeup. Buy more makeup. <laughs> yes. So let's get started. So what we want to do is we want to break it down by... Uh, the process in which you would put on your makeup. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our moisturizers and primers. Okay, the product that I use first when I put on my foundation is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. Ooh. And this stuff is a holy grail for me. Like, once I put this on and my foundation goes on, it, it doesn't, I don't look glowy or, um, what do you call it? Okay, you don't look word. dewy. I don't look dewy. Right. I don't look sweaty. Oily. oily. And for me, with my oily skin, I need that. I need some type of mattifying. So this is perfect. For oily skin. Right. Does. Yeah. And then I have two products. Both are samples, but I would, I'm going to buy the full size eventually. The first one is the Belief Aqua Balm. <laughs> okay, so the first is the Belief Aqua Balm, which is a hydration um, moisturizer. So I put this on first, and then I follow it up with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, so both of these are samples, like I said, but I enjoyed this one, and this one's actually gone. <laughs> so um, it's time to buy a new one. But um, yeah, those are what I used to prep my face before I applied my foundation. Okay, next, moving to the foundations. This year has been all about the All Day Luminous Wear Foundation from NARS. Ooh. And this stuff, amazing. Holy Grail product. Yes. Yep. And I'm going to already go ahead yes. and put mine out there because right. that was my favorite foundation too. Um, NARS Weightless Foundation. Yes. <laughs> Must buy. Yeah. So if you have it, it's worth the, how much, $48? Yeah. Get it's, it. it's pricey, but it's all worth it. And... Like the finish, it's like your skin but better, mm -hmm. and it doesn't make you feel cakey. It doesn't like get oily over time. It's just like a really, really good foundation. Yeah, and I don't feel it. Like you yeah, know how makeup can feel like you have a lot on. Right. No. And it's buildable it. too. So I, yeah. I love it. Like I think I'm gonna always buy this foundation every year, exactly. regardless. And this is my <laughs> second bottle. <laughs> and Nars, don't change the fountain right. uh, formula. Don't change Please it. Please don't. <laughs> My next one is, okay, so after foundation comes concealer, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I think that's how most people put on their makeup. But I have the Studio Finish Concealer Duo from MAC. And it is the shades NW45 and NC50. So one of them is a little bit lighter that you can use for like under your eyes. And then the other one is more so for spot correcting. So, I really, really like those. A bit pricey, too, but worth the money. Right. Get you a duo, too, because it's two-for-one product. <laughs> <laughs> now, my concealer, I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this stuff just came out not too long ago, a couple months ago. But, girls, this stuff is amazing. And that one's lightweight, too. It's very lightweight, and it doesn't crease. Ooh, at all yeah and it's creamy very creamy so um i've got this in caramel caramel yeah i had a match at sephora so if you need help getting your concealers match make sure you um see a, a clerk what do you call them makeup artist. makeup artist at sephora, at sephora. yeah because yeah. they'll help you and they'll match your skin um the next product i have is for contour Another NARS product. I'm becoming a NARS hoarder. <laughs> but their products are just really, really they good. Are. And the quality of them is really nice. They are. But I use the NARS um, Contour Duo in, I'm not for sure how you pronounce this. Gaina. Gaina. Yeah, Gaina. I'll put it below. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it basically comes with the contour and the highlight all mm. in one. Um, it's really good for my skin tone because this contour is dark enough that it shows up on my skin But it's also not dark to the point where it looks like mud I just like put a whole bunch of mud right. and then this highlighter is really nice because it's like um, You know how sometimes you don't want like sparkle in your highlight You just want to look radiant without having glitter like all on your cheeks mm -hmm. So this one kind of helps just set your face and it looks really natural and pretty 
I use a cream contour and so I use this palette from Laura Mercier it has pretty much every complexion in here. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called the Flawless Contouring Palette. The Art Made Simple. And it really is. Like, it, it is amazing. Because they actually have instructions on how to use. Let me see if I can open it. On how to use the contour. Oh, cool. So, if you're not skilled at contouring, get this. Right, this is the beginner's. Right. Holy Grail. So and I would think it. cream contour is a lot easier to use. Than it <laughs> is. Because it stays in yeah. place. And you can use a beauty blender to, you know, Set blend it, it in. Yeah. yeah. And it make it look natural. Because you don't want harsh lines to make you look like a clown. Yeah. So this is <laughs> perfect. <want> yeah. <laughs> For the next product, it would be, uh, I guess, like setting powders or things you use to sort of set your makeup when you're finished. And I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And it's basically just a powder. Self-explanatory. Okay. Um, but I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> or if you don't want to like wear foundation one day, like you can just put on some concealer and then buff this over your face. And it's sort of like the natural foundation look. So I actually have two powders that I set my makeup with. The first is the Cover FX Blotting blotting powder sorry and it is in i don't know what shade this is because it doesn't say but it's definitely not translucent mm -hmm. but it's a it keeps you mad, keeps you mad. promise okay. that <laughs> cover x just, stuff is serious yeah it's, it's serious like this studio coverage. makeup for sage right i also bake she no. bakes if you're familiar with baking <laughs> then you understand why I would use this. This not is not a cake though. <laughs> no. <laughs> not baking a cake. I'm baking my face. <laughs> For all us oily girls out there, our cheeks get really oily and our forehead and this area gets extremely oily and sweaty. So color correcting powder like banana powder, which this is what this is. This is banana powder from in NYX. 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 <laughs> And even though it's one of those fluffy powders that get all over the place, you gotta use it. Yeah. You have to because you need to get one of those. The payoff is major, and all you do is just set it up under your face, your eyes, after your concealer, and it lightens up your under eye area. I need to get some of that. <laughs> and hopefully, she can teach me how to bake. <laughs> we can bake. <laughs> First, I will start off with a new product from Laura Geller, and it's the Gilded Honey. Yes! Everybody loves this yes. stuff. Everybody. <laughs> I use it to strobe. Like, this now, describe area. what strobing is. Okay, so for you makeup heads out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to explain this. Break it down a little bit. Break it down. Strobing is when you make sure you highlight these areas that get hit by the light. Like, you... You make sure you concentrate on those areas because once that light hits, it looks like beam you're just like a beam of light. <laughs> like <strobe. laughs> That's the simplest way right. I can think to describe it. Good job. <laughs> Your makeup vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I have Becca, and this is in rose gold. It's a highlight. This is why did I think to bring that one? I always use that too. I right. love that highlighter. Girl, you can Ooh. use it as even a blush too. Yeah. Because it has like a rose tint to it. Yes. So, yes, I love amazing. that Amazing. But it, a little goes a long way because yes. I'm going to tell you one thing. If you dab your brush with it and then you put it on your face, you're going to have like crazy, <laughs> crazy like highlights. Disco face. Yes. Yeah. So and I've be done careful. it before. I have too. It's not cute. <laughs> <laughs> so this stuff is really pigmented. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know why I didn't bring it, but there's another highlighter from Becca that's called, um, Copper Gold or something oh, like yeah, that. That's yeah. my favorite highlight, but I didn't bring it today. But it's alright, <laughs> it's alright. Yeah. Um, surprisingly, I use a lot for my highlight most of the time, uh, an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. Mm. And it's called Starry Eyed. And it's really pretty. I'm gonna swatch because I wanna swatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to get out the shot. <laughs> <laughs> but um what I was about to say, eyeshadows can be universal, like just as like blushes and everything can be universal. You can use them wherever you 
feel you need to use them. So I use the eyeshadow as a highlight and it's really pretty because I like it. <laughs> it's like it a, is pretty. It's like a rose gold pink, light pink shade. Mm -hmm. So it hits me at the right spots, you know, for highlighting purposes. And I love <laughs> it. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> okay, blush. Oh, here we go. Because okay. I don't have any more highlights. <laughs> so my favorite blush this year has been the Too Faced Sweetheart. And this is in Perfect Flush Blush. Say that three times. Perfect Flush Blush. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it has. It comes in a trio. Stuff. I mean, depending on what your look is, it is amazing. Like the middle one is a hot, more of a highlighter. The other two are more of a soft. Well, the one of them is a soft look, and then the other one is like when you're really trying to go out and you know and get your blush on. on. Yes. yes. So it's amazing. It works. So I have two blushes. One is more so of a natural work blush I call it because I wear it every day to work it's called sweet as cocoa and I mentioned this before in a favorites video but it's sort of like um a dark brown with a little bit of sparkle in it but it sort of can can cross the boundaries between a blush and a bronzer and it's really really pretty and it's really natural so sweet as cocoa and then my other one, which I also oh, bought I have before. that too. Yeah. Oh, and this one is cracked a little bit, so I'm not gonna <laughs> look inside. Um, but this is one of the Urban Decay uh, Afterglow Eight mm -hmm. Hour Power Powder Blushes, and this was in the shade Crush. And I have some more colors, but I really like this one because it has a good finish to it. Um, it doesn't make it look you look like powder face mm -hmm. and it had they just come out with some of the best colors i mean they do. look at that like that's a vibrant blush and like it'll show up on my skin tone and i love it and i love the packaging because it's so pretty <laughs> <laughs> so get it into eye stuff um for mascara 2015 mascara choice benefit roller lash yes it's it's just great. Like, it's everything. <laughs> I'm trying to be more descriptive, but it's actually really the best volumizing. I'm saying that right? Volumizing mascara that I've used to date. Like, the little bristles are like rubber and they really get into your lashes to help separate them. And then also, they evenly coat your lashes. So, it makes you look like you're wearing false lashes, even though you don't have them on. And I will swear by this mascara like forever. So yeah. <laughs> it's like holy grail. <laughs> it, is. it really is. And um, even though that's also my 2015 mascara, I also sometimes like to layer it with their real oh, for yeah. benefit. Mm -hmm. Because this more than likely will extend your eyelashes. And then you add that on top and it makes it go pop. Mm -hmm. So yeah, girls. They're Get real. you some. Yeah. They're real and roller lash all yes. together. Amazing. You don't even need falsies with You don't. <laughs> and I can't do falsies, so. <laughs> so next we're going to move to eyeliner. And this right here. I still have it in the packaging because it keeps me organized. But Laura Geller's, what is it called? The eye calligraphy. Ooh. Eye kit. Amazing. I paid $30 for this sample Whoa. kit. Whoa. $30. Let me and see it, it lasts me a long time. It Class, definitely fine will. tip, classy tip. Oh, and you can draw a cat eye with this super oh, easy, super great. easy because it has the fine tip, the classic tip, and the slanted tip. So, yeah, $30. $30. You can't beat that. I don't know if they still sell it because it was a holiday pack, but oh, okay, gotcha. Hey, go try, go see if you can get it. Mm -hmm. My eyeliner is the Stella All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. Again, this one is sort of similar to that one in that it's like one of those felt tip kind and then the cat eye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I don't think there's any other way you can do a cat eye outside of a, Out of liquid. a liquid. It's so you hard. Have to. Yeah. So I like this one a lot. It's a, this is a black color. Like, it's real black, not like one of those blackish gray colors. And um, it really stands out on your eyes when you put it on there. So, Stella. Next, we're moving on to eyeshadows. And I have to say this is a late addition to my collection in 2015 because we got it in um, New York when we went to Generation Beauty. Right. But pure <laughs> eye polish. OMG. I think this is a beauty 
uh, in community secret because you don't really hear a lot of people talking you don't. about these. But this stuff, I mean, oh, when it's on yeah. your eye, it is so pigmented and it doesn't move anywhere. I'm, I swear, it does it not. Doesn't. And it doesn't crease. Nope. It doesn't look like you even have on a, um, what do you call it? A liquid. Right. A cream eyeshadow. Cream eyeshadow. Like, it literally sets it's like it's so powder. So pretty. Oh, wait, wait. I'm trying to get to it. Oh. <laughs> This is a no. Let me try that again. Let me I can't try that switch. Somewhere. I can't switch my hand that far. Okay, there it is. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, you gotta get my face. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, one more time for y'all. Oh, there it go. Girls, if you don't know by now, it is worth the money. It's worth so Even much. Even though it's like, what, $20, 25 yeah, it's so worth Like, these are my favorite things ever. I actually didn't get this one from Jim Beauty. I got another um, shade, the Caviar shade, which is, uh, it was really, really pretty, too. And now I want all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I think they're releasing more soon. So. Right. My bank account can't afford it. Right. But I love them. And they're so Oh, and it's pretty. it has a primer in it too. Yeah. So well a base. You can put a so, you can put an eyeshadow on top of it yes. if you want. So but I you really don't need to put an eyeshadow on top. You don't, but I've done that. I've like layered it with um darker eyeshadow so for that color. Pretty. So Woo. pretty. And everybody asks me, what is that on your eyes? Don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, they go out and buy it after I tell them. <laughs> the next thing I will be doing is a palette. Girls, vice. <laughs> they never, Urban Decay never goes wrong with their vice they palettes. Don't. I've they been don't. riding with them since they day don't. one with their vice palettes. Yep. But oh. this one, I still got the thing. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Oh. Oh. And why are they coming out with another one soon? Yeah, it's Just actually out my right now. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> It's mind. like the limited edition um, one with some more colors. And I'm like, I don't need it. I don't need it. But you gotta have it as part of your collection. No. I have too many vice palettes already. <laughs> I, don't I have that one too, but I haven't worn it yet. <laughs> oh lord. Money goes down yes. the drain. Um, so for my palette, I picked the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. The stuff right there. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. So this is like... It's like a neutral palette, but it has a few pops of colors in there that I'm going to do a pan. Watch this. <laughs> but yeah, it has like a few pops of colors in it, um, but it's good for like everyday use. And then also if you want to do some dramatic looks, it has colors in there that you can, um, you know, hype up your eyes with. Pretty much. And then it has some good highlighters. And, um... What else? Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> I have, it has some good highlighter shades. And then, to top it off, it, it really does smell like chocolate. It so. does. So, if your boyfriend is around <laughs> this thing, he's going to want to eat it. <laughs> it smells so good. But, um, yeah. So, this is the first original chocolate palette. Now, they have a semi-sweet semi palette out. And I heard they're coming out with another, oh, like, gosh. diet chocolate or low-fat chocolate. <laughs> but, yeah, I love this palette. So, um, it's been all about brows this year. Um, and I think it has in the past, too. But this year, I've just seen people go crazy with brows and all that crazy mm -hmm. stuff. So, these are my two go-to products, both from Benefit Cosmetics. This one is the Give Me Brow. I'm putting it in front of your face. Sorry. <laughs> and then this one is the Instant Brow Pencil. Oh, it's just the pencil to match. <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting it in her face because that's the only way to focus. But I've talked about these before. Together, these are the ultimate uh, brow pencil brow products for a quick brow. If you don't want to like draw in your brows with you know, Anastasia products. Good um, brow. Yeah. I would recommend these because they're quick. And especially if you don't know how to do your brows, which I'm not an expert at doing my brows, I stick to this because if you get that expensive stuff and you, you're like drawing them all in and you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> it's going to look crazy. So go and get these to start you off, okay? 
Even though I love Anastasia's dip brow, I did not put this in for this year. Yeah. Because I don't use it every day. And like she said, that's a dramatic eye. So when I'm really trying to be a dramatic yeah. eye, that's when I use that. Yeah. But I don't use it every day. I use Gimme Brow too. Gimme Brow. Mm -hmm. Next, we will move into lips. Lippies? And I'm starting off with liquid lips. Um, uh, yes. This is just one of the many that I use. This is the Anastasia American Doll Lip, Liquid Lip. And any of her products, I've been using like a holy grail this year. Mm -hmm. I've been using all of her lips. Right. So that's what I've been going with. And you can't just buy this in any store. You have to actually order it online. Because yeah, the basics around here doesn't sell it. Right. Some people are lucky enough to have their... Well, I think some Macy's do sell it in store, but I don't know. Only Not in our... like Virginia here. Yeah, no. <laughs> so along with the liquid lipstick um, craze, so e I think every company out there, cosmetic company, has come out with a liquid lipstick or are about to come out with it. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't go wrong with them. Um, I have the Stella All Day Liquid Lipsticks. These are in the colors Rico and Shanti. Sh oh. Shianti. That's what it is. Shianti. Um, and they came in like one of the holiday sets um, for Stella. Everlasting Love. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if both of them came in the same one or not. But because I bought like both oh. sets. <laughs> but um, I heard these are coming out like full. Like the full thing is coming out. You can buy them now online. Um, but they're really good. They're really vampy colors. Um, I'm wearing this one on my lips now. Um, and I really like the stay of them. They don't feel, I mean, of course they feel drying because they're a liquid lipstick and it's going to feel drying. But these don't like suck the life out of your lips. So I really like them. Even though I haven't been wearing a lot of classic lipsticks, I'm going to start back wearing them in 2016 because I've been all about the liquid lipsticks. But um, you guys know I wore this religiously over the summer in 2015. And it's the Grind Lippy Stick from ColourPop Cosmetics. And mm -hmm. it's like that vibrant purple color. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You can wear that year round. Yeah. Really. Well, it's kind of really bright. I mean, you could. Yeah. Because it's just like um, heroin by MAC. You can wear that in the winter. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's Yeah, that's true. So yeah. that's that. So next, our lip liners. So I have three, and two of them are from Mac. The ones from Mac are Stone and Soar, which is like a grayish color. Oh, <laughs> a grayish color and like a a mauveish pink color. I wear those both religiously, like all the time. And then the Urban Decay Twenty Four Seven liner is in the color Venom. Um, Next, I also sometimes put on falsies, mm -hmm. and I swear by the Ardell Natural Look, and they're in black wispies. Ooh. A go-to. Like, if you don't want to look extra glam, like, you know, where your eyelashes are, like, all the way up here, yeah. definitely get the naturals. Yeah. So, next, I have this body oil by Nooks. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Like, I'm telling you, you have to go buy it. Why? Because you need it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's like the best it's ever. Moisture, just the fragrance, amazing. It's better than lotion too because it, really it leaves your skin like um, glistening without yes. it feeling like it's like stuff on your skin. It's really lightweight. It smells good. Yes. You can put it on your body. You can put it in your hair, your mm -hmm. cuticles. Like it's universal. It's expensive. Yeah, I will say that. But you can buy it from Target, the smaller version. And it's like, um, I want to say it's about $30, 30 yeah. for the smaller bottle. I think this is like 50 or 60 online. Yeah. But the smaller bottle is a little bit but better. But save but your coins because you yes. need to try it. Yeah. And they have a whole line other than just the oils. They have lotions and right. radiant everything. creams and everything. So yeah. just check out their new line yeah. at Target. You won't regret it. So that's all of that our 2015 is it. favorites. Yeah. So if you have finished this whole video, congratulations to you. Because I know this is going to be a really long one. 
But I mean, it's a year's worth of beauty really favorites, is. so it's going to be kind of long. So we apologize for that. But we hope you enjoyed and you were able to sort of see some of the products that you maybe want to buy because all of these are like our favorites. Yes. And we'll probably carry them into 2016. We will. But of course, 2016 brings new makeup. New makeup. And we hope to have a lot of new makeup from the Generation Beauty that we'll be going to in three weeks. Yep. So we will let you know if there's any newcomers that are coming out soon. So yep. stay tuned. Our new stuff. More videos. Yep. We will be shooting a Valentine's video very soon. So yep. you can, you know, get right for your your for your honey buddy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for Valentine's Day. So just subscribe. Stick around. Check yep. out our old videos. Yep. Just keep coming back because yep. we got more for you. And we love you. We do. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. See you next Until time. Until next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>